Okay, so today is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can change the health, size, movement speed, and whether or not the bot is invincible on any scenario that you want. So for the for the example, say close long strafes, um, all right, the bot, but we want to change how quickly it moves or the size of it. What we can do is hit edit right here, hit yes on unpack, go to character, or how you can also find out the character, right? If you go to challenge, Quaker bot long strafes, go to bot, Quaker bot long strafes, and it will tell you the character profile. So for this, it is, it is Quaker. So then if we go to character here, we know to edit Quaker to change the bot, because uh, there will be on some drills, multiple different uh, character profiles, um, especially if you have a, a drill where you can move around as a player. Uh, so what we can do under move here is change the run speed and this will change how quickly the bot strafes. So if we put this to 500, now you'll see the bot will strafe really slowly, but the strafing pattern of the bot is still the same. If we want to change its health, we go back to the same same thing, character tab in Quaker. And then what we'll do is under main here, we'll just change the health. If we put this to 100, now the bot's going to die really quickly when we shoot at it. Um, and also, if we want to make it invincible, and sometimes this won't work, but under bots, just click invincible here, click play. Now you see it didn't actually work here, so if that doesn't work, what you can do is go to character, Quaker again, go down to effects, and it should be right here, invincible bots. Make sure to check that, hit save again, hit play, and now the bot will actually be invincible and it has no health bar because now we can't kill it. Now, if we want to change how big the bot is, we go back to character, back to Quaker, and then just go to boxes, and now we can change the proportions, so the height. And since this is, we're using a hit, uh, hit scan weapon, which most drills you are, we only have to change this main bounding box here. We don't have to touch projectile bounding box. So we'll change the height to 200, and then now you'll see the bot is a lot shorter. It's the same width. We go back to Quaker. Back to boxes, we can change this, change that to 30. We're gonna have a much skinnier bot, so if you wanna make it harder by making the bot smaller, you can do it that way. As well as if you want to give the bot a head, just click has head. And the head radius will just be how wide the head is. Basically the same thing as uh, radius under proportions. We hit save, now it's gonna have a really wide head. Again, we can go and we can change the size of the head under, under the head radius. Um, but also, when you do give it a head, if you want to have different headshot damage, or just allow headshots to work, make sure you go to weapon, whatever weapon's being used for the drill, and then headshot capable, click this. If you have headshot factor at two, it's going to be two times damage, three, three times damage, so on. If you want the headshots to do the same damage as body shots, just put that to one. Now you can see, well, if we had, if it wasn't invincible the bot, you'd see that the headshots now do damage. Um, if we go back to Quaker, though, uh, to change actually what the bot itself looks like, we can go to character model, go to Ecto, this will be one of the robots, Endo is another robot, I think Meso might be a robot, but I'm not sure. Um, but if we change that to Ecto, now you will see it turns into a robot, but it has this little um, like transparent uh, cylindrical hitbox around it, which means that the hitbox will actually be that translucent box and not the character itself. So if you want to make sure that the hitbox is just the robot, go back to boxes and then make sure you check per mess hitbox. And now that that's checked, the hitbox will actually just be the robot itself. Um, so that's basically all you really need to know to change all the basic parameters of a drill, make it harder, make it easier. Um, as well as scoring, you can change under here, change what, uh, how much score you get per damage, per hit and whatever else you really want to do. Um, but make sure when you're done doing this, hit save as, because if you hit save, it will actually overwrite the close long strafes drill or whatever drill you clicked edit on. And then if you want to play that drill again, you're going to have to re-download it from the workshop. So I would just recommend naming it um, something similar to what it is. So close long strafes. And then you can just name it whatever you want, my edit, my my scenario, whatever whatever you want to do, so you can differentiate it from the main scenario. I'll just put test next to it. 
So now save as, and now you will see close long strafes test here. And if we click the normal drill, it'll still be the normal drill. And then if we go to the test one and play that, now it is the drill that we edited. Um, so that's basically all you need to know. Um, I'll probably make tutorials on some more advanced things that you can do uh, with strafing patterns and what, whatnot later on. But hopefully this helps help somebody. And uh, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll try to get to it. Uh, thanks for watching.